guitar lesson uh, this is fingerstyle engine exercise 28 I think and uh, I'm gonna show you exactly what I played uh, really important I was uh, inspired by uh, this guitar player called Estas Tonne hopefully I'm pronouncing his name right I think he's Spanish I don't know if the guy is from Spain but he's a great performer and he's uh, always using this kind of Spanish approach you want to make sure that you check him out and I took one of his pattern and this is what I'm gonna show you today uh, which is exactly what I was playing um, hopefully you're gonna like the lesson and um, you can have the tab just uh, check the description all the info are there uh, guys make sure that you create your account on blitzguitar.com it's absolutely free you don't have to pay anything and all these lessons are basically organized um, there you can have the free tab you don't have to pay anything for it it's just a way for me to organize everything and have you know everything easy to upgrade and move things around okay so really cool if you want to get the tab check the description and hopefully you're gonna like this lesson subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want uh, I'm gonna have some more coming soon so thank you very much for watching and let's get started with this tutorial all right guys let's get started uh, remember one thing really important um, we're gonna have a group of six notes okay so each idea or each phrase is grouped in six notes so for example when i play the first chord one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six one six four five six so i always have a group of six and it's really important that you group it that way because the thumb is going to be most of the time always at the beginning of each group now, uh, before we start with this melody, uh, there is a sort of a run at the beginning, which is this one. Okay, and then we start with the melody. Now, what is that? I start with the fifth open string and the second string fret number one. I plug simultaneously with thumb and middle finger. Then I will pull the string off so that I can have the second string ringing out. So it's first fret, pull off, third string fret number two with the index finger, I'm plucking with the index finger, another pull off on the same string, then the fourth string fret number four with the index finger, and the third open string with the middle finger. So I will have That's the first group, six notes Then I have another one, which is this one Now what I have here, I don't have the bass, which is cool So I only have to play the fourth string fret number two With the index finger then I have a hammer on on the fret number four with a little finger. Third open string with the middle finger. Third string fret number two and pull off. And the fourth string fret number four again. So. When I put it together, it will sound like that. And if I speed up a little bit, okay, and then I start with the uh, melody. So this is the first part and it's on an E minor chord, okay? Now, with, what am I playing? The, the um, plucking pattern will start on the 6th open string, then the 2nd open, uh, and the 1st open. 
and I'm using thumb, index on the second, middle on the third, then I have the first string fret number three with the index finger, pull off, and the second open string. This is the first group of notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you want to make sure they use exactly uh, the same right hand fingering I'm using, which is thumb, index, middle, index, pull off, middle finger on the second. Now after that, the um, rhythm and the plucking pattern is going to be exactly the same. The, the thing that is going to change uh, will be the notes that we're actually playing. So the first group of notes is this one, third fret. Then you have exactly the same thing, but with the second fret this time. So when I put it together, I will have the first group and the second group with the note on the second fret. Then I have exactly the same one, third fret again. Okay, so I have three groups starting always with the thumb. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, second fret. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now after them, I'm going to have uh, just the first string fret number seven, sorry, fret number five, and is plucking, pull off, second open string. So, and fret number seven with the middle finger, pull off, and second open. So basically the last group is without the bass and just with the top two strings. So you will have Okay, let me try one more time a little bit faster. sure that you find the uh, right hand pattern that suits you better but I would say always alternating is probably the best way to achieve uh, fluidity then we're going to move to another chord which is this one A minor chord and I have exactly the same plucking pattern this time though I have the fifth open string the second string for number one which is going to be always there and the first open string so I have thumb index middle first string for number three with the little finger pull off and second string so this is a six um, notes so you have one group on the A minor which is this one then you have exactly the same thing but this time plucking the second fret and then the third time we will have thumb index middle fret number three second string then the second fret pull off second string and third fret pull off and second string so okay 
make sure that you don't get confused with the pattern. Uh, remember, it's always three groups starting with the thumb, second group, third group with the thumb, and then just the top two strings. So if I put together the first two chords, I will have the E minor. C major chord okay this is uh, the difficult one because it's a quite stretchy position the plucking pattern is still the same though and you will have the fifth string fret number three and the second string fret number one so we'll have thumb on the fifth index on the second middle finger on the first and then with the little finger, I'm just going to pluck the first string fret number three. Okay. And pull off. And second string. So on the C major, that's the first pattern is fifth string, second string, first string, first string with the third fret. Pull off. And second string. Okay. Then we're going to do exactly the same thing. But with this time pluck in the second fret. So same approach, fifth string, second string, first string, first string for number two, pull off, and second string. So so far we have three chords: the E minor. Which is twice the A minor, the C major, and then I have a B7, which is going to be uh, played with the strumming. It's much more of a rasgiado technique, which is I'm going to show you what it is. Uh, the chord is the B7. So I have the 5th string fret number 2, 3rd string fret number 2, and 1st string fret number 2. So I have 3 fingers within the same fret, 5th on 2nd, 5th uh, string 2nd, 3rd string 2nd, 3rd string 2nd, and on the 4th string I have the fret number 1, okay? Now the way I'm strumming this chord, so I will start basically with the um, a fist on the strings like that and I'm going um, basically I'm uh, playing starting with the ring finger then the middle then the index okay so and I, it's, it's quite quick then I'm going up and down So it's the, all the fingers starting from the ring, ring, middle, index. Then I'm gonna have one down stroke with the index. And one up stroke, always with the index. So I'm coming from the C major. Okay, so it's down, down, up. And I will finish with this phrase. So I have the first string fret number two, hammer on on the fret number three, and pull off. On the fret number two, so you know, make sure that you make sure that you always hold the index finger down. So it's fret number two, fret number three, hammer on, fret number two, pull off. Second string, fret number five. Second string, fret number four. Third string, fret number five. And third string, fret number four. 
so always alternating so and you finish with E minor so from the C Alright guys, let me just uh, show you the right hand movement because this is the, you know, the key point here uh, to um, make this melody uh, fluent, okay? So it's really important that you keep the fingers really close to the string, okay? And you always want to keep a not alternating. So if when I play the melody... Except for the pull off all the other uh, strings are all plucked with alternating. So it's thumb, index, middle, index, pull off, middle. That's the group of notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Always alternating. So even when you play it faster, you want to make sure that you always alternate. That's the key point.